There is a saying that if you love what you do, you will never work a day in the life. But what if you don't know what you love? How do you find that? In this episode, I will show you what helps me to find my purpose, what I like, what I dislike, and I will also recommend some helpful tips to help you find your purpose or passion. I want to share first my story. Three years ago, I started to teach Agile and Scrum and also other IT-related topics, including YouTube and TikTok for business. The teaching industry is all about serving people and giving them hope. This industry is about giving energy, giving inspiration, giving um, motivation. This industry is about the uh, ability to transform the lives of others. At, at least I believe so. And the number one question that I everyone asked me was, um, why did you start? Why did you do it? Now, I have to tell you, I didn't get into the teaching industry because I wanted to transform the world. I got into the teaching industry because I needed one. And once my life was transformed, I was so inspired by what happened in my life that I wanted to help and touch others. I've heard somewhere that so many people who are serving others are wounded healers, meaning we came through hurt or we came through something and we want to turn around and help someone else. I absolutely agree with that. So I didn't step into the transformation saying I want to transform the world. I step into the transformation saying I need to rescue myself from myself. I'm my first rescue. And then something beautiful happened. I had breakthrough. I had the transformation. So that's how I discovered it. And I'm not sure how you came to this episode. But however you came to this episode, I'm glad that you are here. Because some people, it could be you, can learn and be inspired by your very existence. And here's what I know. I know that our lives was put here to impact those around us. This is a time when you do everything. Not something. Not just convenient things. Not just the easy things, but you do everything you can to turn your dream into your reality. And even bigger than that, you turn your dreams into someone else's dream. Oh, when you make your dream come true, all of a sudden you permit somebody else to dream. You just need to make a decision. So my purpose is to set you on fire to do. Just to do the things you do. Now, I gave myself permission to get to the edge and to take a leap. I gave myself permission to be seen. I permitted myself to be heard. I didn't always say the right thing. I didn't always look my best. But the key thing is I permitted myself. See, there was a time in my life when I wasn't comfortable with what I'm talking about. I didn't want to make a fool of myself. And you know that thing that's beating inside you and it wouldn't let you rest. And I said, hold on, wait a minute, I need to see who I can become. I don't want to wonder, I don't want to get to the last five years of my life and wonder who could I have been. And I still got some energy in me, I want to rest in peace. I want to say I give it all. But some of you are still wondering, you're still wondering what to do or can you do it? I know that you might feel frightened because all of this uncertainty in the world or discomfort. Now listen, on the other side of this discomfort is whole new you. This is your time. This is your time. We have to take our dreams and make our dreams our reality. If not now, when? Now let me give you a couple examples. How long have you suffered from being out of shape? Or how long have you suffered in the bad, bad relationship? How long have you suffered not making the money you want? How much longer are you going to suffer? Remember, 
The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting uh, different results. How about now is the time we take a courageous action and start shifting our life? Not tomorrow, not after breakfast, right now. Now let me give you some tips you can build upon, okay? Find something that you like and regularly think critically about. And be very granular or keep a page of running notes of things that make you feel good or bad in your current role. But bounce ideas of friends and family. And there are plenty of external resources like 80,000 hours that can at least get you to think about things. But at the end of the day, the personal priorities are going to differ. Every job is going to have some frustrating aspects things you don't enjoy, things you are, aren't good at, or situations that may be difficult for you. You just balance them out with the parts of the position you enjoy. Now let me share what I like. I like making a measurable direct effect on making people's lives better or easier in some way. And this is why I'm teaching Scrum, because I prefer value-based approach with shorter iterations in comparison with schedule based with clearly estimated costs and plans. I like having consistency in my work, where I'm not always worried about the next paycheck, and I dislike being completely stonewalled for factors outside of my control. Of course, I like being in a position where I have the financial flexibility to be, for example, able to retire early. I have times when I want to learn a lot and I want to build up skills that will continue to grow my career and times when I want to coast. And I like having the flexibility to adjust to those depending on my mood. I prefer gradually building up my skills or gaining them in a short burst over time and applying them in the new situations over the needing to grind them out. I dislike feeling stuck with the problem and I like being able to lean on and reach out to others for help. I like developing my skills to the point where I can help other people out and teach them in the same way. I like being in a position where I have the flexibility and trust to do my own thing and be on my own way. So you can find your purpose by doing these things too. Regardless of your current job, do these things, gain new skills and capabilities and search for other jobs. Show off your skills, go to job interviews, search for new job in the same area if your current work environment isn't good for you. Try a few out, gain more skills, master transferable skills, and all transferable skills, all skills are transferable in some way. So you might be wondering how to gain a new skills if you are unemployed and cannot afford to go back to school or take courses or your current job doesn't teach you any new skills. Well, you gain them by doing the thing without a job. You can do so many things without a job. But think about it. How, how, how do musicians call themselves musicians before they get a job in the job music industry? How do artists call themselves artists? So much software is available to download for free. So play around with it. Get familiar with it at least. Then state familiarity with something that you love. Once you get familiar, Put it in your resume. Sure, some programs are harder to do, such as Salesforce without customers, but there are so many apps that are absolutely free, or at least have a free trial. And there are plenty of jobs available once you get good at that. All programs have their usefulness and disability traits. All you need to is narrow it down to your own focus. I believe that happiness is when you find something you enjoy doing. Think about what you enjoy or didn't enjoy in the past jobs or during school and what best fit that mold. You don't always have to get it in the first try. And most industries will have multiple paths to take. Now the question is how to find something that will make you thrive. 
Now let me share what works for me. And this is my recommendation for you. Digital transformation has only accelerated since the pandemic began. As companies, all industries look to innovate and gain a competitive advantage. There is a need for employees with the skills to help them get there. Set yourself up for success by building in-demand skills companies need, such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, computer science, or product development. Software product management is one of the today's fastest growing professions, and for good reason. Product managers and product owners typically find their work to be meaningful and well-paid, with considerable opportunities for career advancement. I'm aware that we are all not the same, but I find these things fulfilling and exciting. Think of things that don't make you bored or tired, which makes you happy. For example, some people are happy from sleeping. They can, for example, take part in test of mattresses, take part in a unit test on how to sleep affects the brain, or even write a blog post about your experience while sleeping and get paid by being an affiliate for those companies or adding ads to your posts. If you do the same thing using video, then you could also be paid by YouTube. There are so many ways. It does take time to build authority in the digital space, but the only way to find opportunities is to go out and find them. Meet new people, go to new places, read books, and learn new things and you will never get out of ideas for your business. I find myself asking this same question a lot of lately. I knew from young age that I wanted to be an engineer mainly because I love building and creating things and I understanding how the world works. And I became an IT engineer and have worked in software companies, finances, product delivery and teaching and providing you with these tips I'm still finding myself. And sometimes you just have to understand that a job is a job and we have a job so that we can have a type of life and enjoy family and friends. I think although it would be probably my dream job to teach, sometimes is really out of reach. For example, I'm not sad because last month I haven't sold a single license of my Agile and Scrum Masterclass. I'm sad because I didn't have the opportunity to impact lives and change people's lives with what's in my Scrum course so that they can create success out of it. But I know I was meant for more, to do more and to become more. And another thing, it doesn't matter where you are from. Don't ever think that the job that you are looking for is not possible for you being from US, from Europe, from Asia or Africa. Don't think that everything is designed for advanced countries because you can always start remote and later, if you are really good at what you do, they will ask you to move there. I would um, really want to see you try, but you have to understand that we all have some awesome days and really shitty days. It is that balance that makes it good enough to enjoy working. Maybe think about that. Try and understand what makes you feel awesome. And if that can be applied to a job within your reach, try it. I'm not saying that it is unlikely that the things you are most passionate about are going to also make you money. Even though there is a really small number of people who will be able to do what they love and make good money doing it without ruining their love for the activity. But you could be one of them. If you want to be one of those lucky people, put the cliché and meaningless sayings aside. There is no reason not to assume your job will be the thing you feel most passionate about. If you are still not sure what to do in your life, think very generally about what types of things you are really good about and generally kind of enjoy. Every single adult has expertise in something just by living life. And guess what? If you live life long enough, you are going to pick up some really valuable skills. And by adding additional skills, 
you will have to decide how many hours you are willing to work, how much education you are willing to get, and how much money you want to make. And this will, this will help guide you to career choice. Now, let me know in the comments what you are struggling with and what you are passionate about. What is your number one thing in life? Can you find any room for advancement? Do you love or hate your current job? Are you thinking about going back to school? How much money would you like to make? How many hours you're willing to work per week? What is your previous working experience? And do you have any ideas about what role could suit you well? I would really love to see you in the comments, your big goals. But you have to know that you have more potential and you are not utilizing it. So it doesn't matter where you came from or whether you are living in a poor country, stuck in a day-to-day -day routine. Is this your plan for the rest of your life? Doing the same stuff, having the same conversation? I missed my mark, I missed my window, my kids, my spouse, I don't have support. If you want to keep these limitations and excuses, they are yours. And no one's going to force to get you to the life of your dream. I'm here to show you the steps, and if you want to follow my lead, you are more than welcome. So your first step is to write in your comments from the, from the heart, write from your heart. If not this, then what? If not you, then who? How long have you suffered from being out of shape? How long have you suffered in bad relationship or bad work environment or not having a job at all? How long have you suffered not making the money you want? How much longer are you going to suffer? How about now is the time we take courageous action and start shifting your life? If not now, then when? Put your comments. And thank you for watching. Oh, no, no, no.